Shut up and sit down. Back, folks, right, just a quick little um, video. Uh, one I keep hearing and often asked about is barbless hooks. And uh, why am I losing so many fish on barbless hooks? And is there a way to avoid losing fish on barbless hooks? I mean, these days we're using you more and more barbless, and you certainly should be using these for catch and release. Um, there are a few techniques we can do, and we'll try and go through these, try and hook a couple of fish up and go through these various techniques for landing the fish basically involves just staying in good contact with the fish. Um, barbless hooks themselves, when you're selecting the barbless hooks, you can either debarb or I recommend buying manufactured barbless hooks and particularly hooks with turned in points. And by that I mean these claw points or grab points. Um, they've got all sorts of different names of them but are curved with a hook with a slight curved point to them. And to my mind they get in much better and they stick from the fish much much better. It's better than debarbing all your, uh, your, your barbed hooks. I mean if you have to you have to. But, um, what we're going to try and do is hook up a couple of fish on here quickly and just run through nice and quick how I go about um, landing these fish with the minimum of fuss, nice and quick and uh, um, hopefully we won't lose anything and uh, yeah, let's see how the little video turns out. Right, we've got the fish on there. The first thing I'm going to do is get that rod nice and low to the water. So it's nice and low down here at an angle of the fish. This is to try and stop it from splashing around. This one seems to be hell bent on splashing about a bit. But it's all about keeping that angle of that rod nice and low, a little bit of a bend on him. Never point the rod at the fish and don't get that rod up too high. So again, just to pose into that fish keeping down nice and low to the water and I'm not going to lift that rod at all until I'm ready to land him or I need to change direction so just let him play out this out there see nice and low again that nice low angle change direction now nice low angle and when I'm happy that the fish is tied out I'm then going to lift that rod and it's the only time I'm going to lift him I think he's ready to go now, so I'm going to lift that rod, get his head up, and bring him in towards the landing net. Just like that. And he's in. And that's how you land a fish with a barbless hook, with a minimum of drama. It's all about keeping those rod angles nice and low and nice and low. It's a lovely chick with a rainbow, that hook should just come out. And that is the beauty of barbless, look. As soon as you take that pressure off, boom, they're out. Nice jig by rainbow, that one. I need to handle him and just pop him straight back in the water. And away we go. So the trick with these barbless hooks really is try to keep your angles low, keep your rod low, keep your angles on the fish so that hook is always turned into the fish and try not to let him splash about too much. When they can't start splashing about and shaking their heads, it's often when you lose them. And the other time, of course, is when you lose them is if you're doing the fight, um, you lose pressure on those fish and usually when they come charging at you or change direction quickly or you're moving your rod one way and they're going the other way, uh, that's the time that that hook's going to pull out of the fish, it would rather just drop out of the fish. Other than that, they're a very good hook holding. Um, same to be said on the boats, I fish in exactly the same way on the boats. Same thing, keeping that rod down, keeping a good tight line on them, trying to keep in the boat more so, trying to keep my rod over the top of the fish where I can. So you've got that depth of water underneath you. Should put us among them, and they're not deep either, so pop it out and start retrieving straight away. There we go. Oh, come on, he just bumped it. Is he coming back for another go? There he goes. There he's on. Lovely again. Rod tip at that angle down there. Look, so that nice angle. 
and then just try and work out which way he's going. Stay nice and low to the fish. Let him fly around out there where he wants to. Is this one going to come in quite quickly, I think? He is. He's got his head up already. Look, once you've committed to getting the reds up, you've got to keep the reds up. <laughs> nope. Come on, get your head up. Again, that angle when they got their heads down. Nice. Chunky fish. Again, on the barbless. Don't need to handle the fish, just drops out of them. And away. There's one. Nicely hooked at range. Right, really got to keep this rod down on this one now. Nice and low, nice and low, nice and low. And just at that slight angle to the fish. Try when they jump up like that, try and keep that rod down, change the angle, keeping the rod down nice and low again. That's lovely. You've got to lose your fish on these. You lose your fish on barbed hooks, of course you do, when they jump up and down like that. But you can limit them losses just by keeping that rod down to the side let them do their thing keep changing those angles and there he goes away he goes look keeping that rod down nice and low getting back in front of you <laughs> someone wants to get underneath the boat come back here keep that rod down nice bend on him nice angle on him nice bit of pressure Come on. Better fish this one. He really wants to go under that boat, doesn't he? There we go. Look at that landing it in position. About the right length of line out there, so when I lift, keep his head up. Like that. Keep his head up, slide him in. Job done. Lovely. That's how you land him with a barbless hook. Again, same thing. Give him a bit of slack. Let the fly will come out in the net. Maybe not this time. And it just shows how the barbless hooks do get in there. It's just on the side of his jaw, look. Nice and easy. Decent fish that, lovely bit of colour too. Perfect. And away you go. There we go, nice steady take. Same thing, stop him splashing around. Keep that rod tip down to the water. Plenty of sideways pressure. Now he's cutting into that boat, I'm going to change my angle, so nice and quick. There we go, around, change the angle, cut the angle on him, keeping that rod tip down all the time. And just let you do his thing here, still keeping that rod down yourself, resisting a temptation of getting up too high on him too quick, not until I think he's ready. Right. Get that landing net ready, and now we're going to get that rod up, get his head up. Here he comes. Again, once you're committed to landing them, straighten the net. Hooks out in the net, as you would expect. Oh, nice. Cheek by rainbow. Lovely. Beautiful. 